Watch you guys, today we're taking a look at fixing a printer that won't pick up paper or it picks up the paper but it can't feed it all the way through and you end up with issues where the paper gets jammed and you have to then uh, try to free the paper. Now this problem is very common and it affects all inkjet printers whether it be Lexmark, Brother, Epson, Canon, all these particular types of printers. They all have uh, one thing in common which is rollers and the pinch rollers or pickup rollers or the feed rollers, they all get either dirt and grime on them over the years, or they just get worn out where they're doing a lot of printing. So if you're doing a lot of printing, uh, sometimes the paper is quite abrasive and it can wear the, the little tread out on the rollers. And you may need to replace them, or you can sometimes uh, road flip them around, turn them inside out and put them back on, and that can fix an issue sometimes. But examine all the rollers to make sure they are free of any debris or any sort of uh, grime and dirt or ink or anything like that. Clean them out. Sometimes you can get access to these by the bottom, by the inside. Uh, printers are all different and they all have different access points to get to the rollers. And sometimes they can be buried deep inside, which makes it a bit more difficult to gain access. But you can see here, we've got some on the bottom here, which is going to allow us to clean these pretty easy. So how are you going to clean these? Well, you've got a few different methods. I'll show you some stuff. Uh, a little bit later on in the video but you can use isopropanol alcohol and just uh, to clean these if you can get access to them and get uh, maybe a, a, a microfiber cloth and clean all the grime and dirt off inspect them make sure they're not perished or worn and make sure they do have some tread on them so they can pick the actual paper up because if they're shiny uh, it's just going to slip and it's not going to be able to pick the paper up and push it through or feed it through the actual printer so have a good examine of them before you uh, continue. Now, if they are dirty, then you can use isopropanol alcohol. This is 100% alcohol, which means it will uh, break down any sort of dirt and it will just completely dry within seconds. So spray a bit of that onto the rollers or you can spray it onto a little cloth and just roll it around and clean them to make sure they're clean of any sort of dirt, uh, ink or anything like that that might be on there. So just clean all this off and you'll be surprised how this effective method works on all printers. Once you've done this, you'll probably find that it's just going to pick that paper up and feed it through just like it did when you first bought the printer. Now there's more than these two rollers in this printer. This is just one set of rollers. So I'm just going to go around and inspect all of the other rollers on this printer to make sure they're all clean. It's the ones that are actually picking the paper up inside and pulling it towards the actual uh, feeding tray where it can actually pull it through and start print. So I'm going to show you these ones now. They're around the back and there is also some here which actually feed the, the uh, paper through. So when it comes out and it's finished printing, you'll see a big load of them along the here on this printer here. It's a bit fiddly, but you can see them here. And sometimes these get a little bit uh, gunked up with some... Uh, dirt and grime so give them a little wipe across now you can uh, get paper which has sticky residue on it and basically you can buy these these are like print print uh, maintenance paper which you can actually feed through the printer and do a print on it and what it does the sticky part of it will literally uh, you know pick up any sort of dust dirt debris and stuff like that all bits of paper that might be left behind and it will literally pull it all through and you can see these Rollers do have a bit of grime on them. So again, you will need to keep cleaning these uh, to make sure that all the grime is kept off of these rollers. Otherwise, you're going to end up with issues. Now, this is this little sort of feed roller here. There's a load of little ones here, and it feeds the paper on the way out. But we're looking for the ones that are picking up and pushing it through the back of the printer. So let's turn it around and work our way around the back here. And we'll... Uh, take a little look down here now on these canon ones here there's a little lever here we can push this to one side or pull it and it lets us uh, get access to this area here to clean out any sort of paper jams or anything like that just make sure there's no debris in there like paper and you should see uh, some rollers here and these are the ones that we want to clean because these are the ones that are picking the paper up and pulling it through into the printer so the printer heads can then print out all of the stuff that you want it to print out to. But if it can't get there and it's slipping, sometimes it's trying to pull it and slips and it just can't pull the paper through. So give these a good clean here as well. Now you can either squirt some stuff onto it 
But if you can get your hand there, then maybe uh, just give them a little clean. You can get these long extended sort of cotton buds. They're, they're about six inches long and you can use these. I'll show you these a little bit later on at the end of the video where you can get this sort of stuff and clean them. I'm just going to use this because the opening is quite big for me. Uh, but if you've got a really tight space where it's deep down inside, you may need to use these, uh, you know, long type of cotton buds with pads on them. And you can spray some stuff on there and give them a little clean that way. And I'll show you those in a sec. But I can get my hand in here and roll these around and clean them. And you can see a little bit of grime coming off. I've already cleaned these previously, so they are pretty clean. But I thought I'd make this video for you because it will be useful for a lot of people that have got inkjet printers and that are having this issue because it is quite common. So they're all now done, but let me quickly show you uh, the paper tray here. Make sure the paper tray is always pushed right away in and don't over tighten uh, the paper on the side. If you're pushing that really tight and it's starting to kink, then that will stop the paper from being picked up. And uh, I'm just going to give this a general clean all the way over and make sure any dust or debris has been removed. And that's also important. Now, these normally get abused quite a bit, especially if they're on the floor or on a place where a lot of dust and dirt comes off. It comes off the paper as well. You get a lot of dust off the papers when they're being printed. But just don't over tighten them on the side. And that should fix your problem. Let's take a look at some of the stuff you can use. These extended cotton buds that I was talking about and some of the isopropanol alcohol. It's pretty cheap. It's not expensive. So these are them here. They're basically uh, long... Uh, sort of swabs which have a foam tip on them and they're great for cleaning uh, printers and you can use isopropanol alcohol as you can see here 99.9% .9 pure that means it's going to dry instantly don't use any solvents on here because it will uh, perish the actual rubbers themselves and this is the actual sticky paper which you print through the printer and it will pick up any dust if you're still having any sort of issues or you can't get to those rollers without dismantling the printer some of them are a little bit like that they're buried deep inside but anyway that is it that's basically how you can fix printer pickup problems or any paper feed problems on any sort of inkjet printer my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk just want to say a quick shout out to all my youtube members who we'll join my youtube members group i really do appreciate the support and i shall catch you in the next video thanks again for watching bye for now